Do you wonder if you're in a healthy relationship or even in a healthy friendship? The key to finding out may be understanding if your chakras are balanced, particularly your solar plexus and your sacral chakra. Hi, I'm Marcella, and I'm here to help you heal old wounds and upgrade your reality. Tip number one, starting with the sacral chakra, which is right underneath your navel. This chakra is the water element. So think fluidity, emotions, creativity. It's the area that houses your sexual energy and your feminine side. So when this chakra is balanced, we're able to have a healthy flowing dynamic with our relationships. And it's also about being able to just be, not go, 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 and be in fight or flight mode doing all the time, which is that go, go attitude and energy is more in the solar plexus, which we'll get into a little bit later. The sacral chakra is about being. So that allows for receiving and for being able to nurture yourself being able to enjoy the pleasures of life in general. So having said that, you don't feel like you have to work, work, work to feel worthy of being loved. You feel worthy of being loved for who you are, for just being who you are. And this is a very important distinction. So think about your relationships. Do you feel like you're being respected, honored, loved just for who you are? This can hold a clue. Tip number two has to do with your solar plexus chakra, which is right above your belly. And it's interconnected with your sacral chakra as well. But your solar plexus is about the fire, the fire element. It's um, your warrior self. It's your masculine. It's the go, 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 the do, the standing in your power. So when you set healthy boundaries, it's definitely in that chakra area, but it's also some of the sacral chakra area since it has to do with relationships and emotions. So there is some interconnection there. So when you have a healthy, balanced solar plexus chakra, you, and I'm going to be saying chakra and chakra interchangeably, then you feel okay to speak your truth and be able to set healthy boundaries with those people in your life. Now, what can happen here is if you're used to being a yes person, always saying yes to everything, and then you start to put your foot down about how you expect to be treated and what you will and will not tolerate, then this is going to be really important in knowing how the people in your life will react. Because I remember a time when I first started to work my these chakras and I started to set healthy boundaries, not only in my romantic relationship, but with some friends. And it was interesting what started to happen. One friend who I thought was a friend literally just got up and walked away from the conversation instead of engaging in dialogue and chose to not have a dialogue about how we could respect each other a little bit more. Um, I felt unvalidated in what I was requesting and the relationship ended up just tumbling down because this person didn't even want to have a conversation about that. So what that told me later down the road is that she didn't have the emotional maturity to want to talk in a civilized manner. So this can happen. Um, many times when we start to set healthy boundaries, people may flee from your life. They may, uh, you know, just, you may just, they may shed off of you and, and no longer be a part of your life organically. And you may have a conversation even about maybe this just isn't working out for the both of us anymore. And that often happens in romantic relationships. Sometimes when boundaries are being set with your partner, and that partner doesn't like it for some reason because maybe it's a controlling uh, dynamic between the two of you, then that can also lead to a breakup. 
So doing this inner work sometimes is difficult and it can be painful when all of a sudden you see that some relationships that you thought were going to be there for the long term start to just fall away. Now keep in mind that detoxing, whether it's from food substances that are unhealthy for us, you know, chemicals in our household products, you know, our mental chatter that may be negative, and even some people that may be toxic in your life is all part of a healthy process of constantly cleaning up your life. So don't despair. It means that you're raising your vibration. You're living more in alignment with the divine or God or spirit, whatever it is for you. And you are starting to live a life of more fulfillment and being true to yourself, respecting yourself, and knowing that you're coming from a place of self-love. So keep that in mind when, you know, these uh, dismantling relationships can feel really painful and like there might be something wrong with you. Just understand that it's a part of the process and there is nothing wrong with you. Give yourself compassion through it all and also give the people in your life that may not be continuing to walk the path alongside you, give them compassion as well because we're all growing at our own rate and we are all learning lessons different lessons that we need to learn so you know the more we get out of judgment and more into self-love compassion for others the more we're able to transcend this into just universal love which i think is a goal for all of us so I do have a guide down below that you can download to see if your chakras are balanced. And if you feel called, please hit the like button, the subscribe button to support this channel. And I'll see you in the next video.